Hi everyone, I'm Faye from FNS Resellers and my husband is Simon. Uh, we're full-time resellers and this is my next video showing you what's going out in the post today. This is 96 hours worth of sales, so it's Friday to Tuesday morning. Um, it's a total of 39 items, £695. Now I've already started this video once um, but my storage was full on my phone so it stopped recording so I've got a mirror behind the phone so I can see the screen of my phone if it happens again very annoying so I will have to sort of break speed through it so it doesn't happen again Simon's at the auction dropping stuff off this time for us to sell stuff that we've had hanging around for ages like big bulks of books um, and some other sort of bric-a-brac stuff uh, we haven't put this much in the auction before so it'll be interesting to see how it goes we don't expect to get rich from it um, but it, someone else will want it, hopefully. So, first things first, I'm going to show you the breakables as usual. Um, I bought a job lot of Hornsey crockery uh, a couple of weeks, well, no, a few months ago. Listed it in March, broke it down into sort of different lots. And this one is five cups and saucers. Uh, here's the saucers. Hornsey do different um, ranges from the 1960s, 70s. This one is saffron. These cost £1.50 total and sold them for £25. I just need to put them over here so I don't break them. We had that exact crockery set growing up and when my mum didn't want it anymore, she smashed it all into the wheelie bin. So that was disappointing. Next up is this fedora hat, fedora hat, however you say it. Um, it costs... 98p listed it in March. It's brand new with tags. It's a male ma major wear wide brim unisex hat and it sold for £20. Another hat. This was a bit of a mistake. We bought these as a job lot back in the winter, I suppose. Um, it's just a fishing hat. Um, when things have been hanging around for about five, six months, we send them straight to auction. Uh, this one was listed in March and somehow got sent to auction pretty quickly. It cost £1.60-ish um, and it sold for £1.24 plus post. So we're not sure how that happened. Um, I hope this camera's straight. If it's not, I'm sorry. Simon normally sets it up, he's out. Uh, this one is a book that sold. Love, love, love selling books. It was so nice yesterday when we went charity shopping for the first time in about four months. Uh, picked up a load of books and it's just I just enjoy looking at books and um, finding sort of treasures. This one was listed on Amazon. We cross listed it to eBay, uh, which we do with a lot of our Amazon listings. So if you want to try the same thing, give us a shout. We can help you do it. Um, it cost 50p and it sold for £10.46. It's Japanese flower arrangements. Put that down there. Uh, if you've seen our other videos, you'll see that we've sold Sims bundles before. This is one that um, Simon got in a job lot of computer games. It cost £3 for the lot. He listed it in March and sold for £15.99. It's the Sims 1 base game plus six expan expansion packs. And this one here, Trivial Pursuits. A vintage game that came in a job lot of games I think it was listed in March cost two pounds and we sold it for 13.99 and it's going GSP all our international sales are GSP this one we wouldn't have picked up but it just so happened it was in a job lot of really good um, board games we tend to pay a couple of quid for up to five pound for games when they're worth it a uh, bit more for sort of rare vintage games if like we do our research. So we would have bid on a bag that probably had like Warhammer and odds and um, like Games Workshop sort of games in it, uh, which worked out that the cost price was quite high. So this was £7.33 cost price. Uh, it would have been what we call fodder, so stuff left over, and it sold for £5. So we wouldn't pick this up on its own, used usually. Um, some more computer games that Simon picked up. These were 50p each. And these are, I think I've gone too far down the list. I've got my wait and dispatch list in front of me. So we've got Grand Theft Auto. Uh, this was 50p, sold for 5.26. Age of Empires 2. This one um, was 
was 50p, sold for £5.17, going um, abroad via GSP. And the next one is Sonic Riders, also 50p, sold for £7.68. Simon likes picking up computer games. If I go out sourcing on my own, I will look at them, but not every single one, because um, I don't know enough about them. Um, like Simon will know, oh yeah, that could be worth money just by seeing the title, whereas I'd have to look at every single one. Uh, the next thing that sold, I actually considered not listing because it's damaged. It's a Harry Potter Bell Jar Light USB powered touch activated. I put damaged in big capital letters in the title. It cost £2, listed it in March and sold for 9 99 It's Perspex and it's got, um, I don't know if you can see, it's got some cracks in the Perspex. So I included those in my photos and in the product description. This is a great sale. This is a barbecue thermometer. I've got a few of these in a sort of job lot. And this one cost £11.16, listed it in March and it sold for £30. Uh, it's obviously barbecue season and for a lot of people it's now barbecue season all year round. We have them all year round. Uh, this was a personal sale on Simon's um, private eBay and these are my jeans. They are brand new tags, next cigarette jeans, and they sold for about £16. This sale came in this morning, and I reckon they must have gone to the pub last night like we did and got absolutely freezing cold. It was so cold. Lovely to see friends, not so lovely to have to sit there in hat, glove, scarf, coat, and be absolutely freezing. So these are Mountain Warehouse ski gloves. They cost £1.93. It's part of a big bundle of um, gloves and scarves that we purchased. This, these were listed in November and we sold them for £7.95. Our last pack of Grand National winners um, playing cards. We've had these in a lot of our recent videos. They cost £1.55 as part of a big job lot and we took an offer of £10. They're brand new. Uh, some leggings. We always get leggings when we buy in bulk from the auction. And they're normally really good leggings. These ones are made in form fat free dressing leggings, double uh, XL. They're actually from Costco. They sell them in two packs, but the packs must have got split and that's why they ended up in the auction. They cost two pound and six P and listed them in January and they sold for 26 99. That's just one pair. Freezing, <clears throat> freezing, thirsty. Another sale that came in this morning is this Tommy Hilfiger baseball cap. We love buying hats from the auction and I will now look at all hats in charity shops. Uh, this one cost £2.69, listed it in January and sold for £22. It's brand new with tags. This was a Depop sale. It's just uh, like a um, it's makeup face powder with like a mushroom style brush and it sold for £8.99. I have been cross-listing things to Depop or listing sort of things I don't think will be very good on eBay over onto Depop and Vinted. So we have one Depop sale over the weekend and no Vinted. I think I'm going to sneeze. Bless me. This studio dress, we had two of these. They're brand new tags. The first one actually sold on Depop and um, this one sold on eBay. It's a studio wrap dress, size 20. Cost 59p as part of a job lot of clothes in December and it sold for 11 99 These have been hanging around for ages. Glad to see the back of them. They were in a big job lot of toys that we got. They're Disney dolls, Six Princess, Royal Sparkle. Um, I don't think they've got their official clothing, which I've stated. I've put the size like 27 centimeters tall. tall. Um, I've got a question mark for the cost price. They wouldn't have cost much. Um, but we sold them for £13.49. In here is a, a like coffee mug glass thing. Um, so like travel mug, but it hasn't got a handle. It's just like a sort of beaker type thing. But it's branded mini, as in the car. It's bright red and blue. And it costs £3.53 as part of a big job lot of uh, drinking bottles that we picked up um, at the start of the year, which we did really, really well with. And this one sold for £20. Another item that came in a job lot of clothes from the auction is this dress. It's H&M flounce dress, size 14, brand new with tags. It cost £1.93 in December 
and we sold it for £17.90. Oh yeah, this one. This was also in a job lot of sports clothes we picked up at the start of the year. It's um, a Lululemon uh, sweat date tank vest. Brand new with tags, size 8, which I wouldn't normally pick up size 8. It cost £10.97, but we sold it for £34. This was a sale from last week, but they took ages to pay. Um, it's... Uh, Mr. Quiet Charades, Charades card game, uh, one card missing, uh, listed it in January, I've got a question mark for the cost price, it would have been in a job lot of games, and sold for £5. I keep looking over there because I've got a mirror to see if it's still recording. Uh, this was some retail arbitrage uh, earlier in the year or last year, it cost £3, and it's a Red Kite Universal rain cover, foldable storage bag. Got it from Sainsbury's, so always have a look at the clearance stuff in supermarkets. Got two more left, and this one sold for $10.99. This one wasn't a great sale, but um, I listed it nonetheless, I wasn't gonna pin it. It's the soapery white beeswax, um, different types of butter, so there's cocoa butter, mango butter. There's four bags, it's for people that make soap. It cost £12.43, it's a big bundle of, I don't know if it had been homeware or beauty, uh, and sold it for $13.49. And these period pants always do well with period pants. These are Molly Body Classic Bikini pants. Uh, they cost £1.76, listed them this month. They were in a big job lot of um, underwear that we got and sold for £19.99. We've got one identical pair still for sale and another one um, slightly different, but it's, it's sealed. All right, I'm just gonna move this out the way. I think I just broke my nail. That's the third one this week. Uh, some lawn bowls sold. I need to move this out of the way. Always pick up lawn bowls if we see them, unless they're ridiculously priced, which they occasionally can be. But we bought a load of them at auction. These ones are still in their original box. And I can't find them on my list. That is really strange. Where are they? These were £13.11, listed them in March. They're Drake, it's not very difficult, is it? Drake's Pride Professional Lawn Bowl, size one, heavy black grip, stamp zero one, boxed. Sold for £60. <coughs> right, so if you've seen our other videos, you've seen that we've been selling a lot of bundles. So clothing and accessories that we're left with, we just bundle up together, uh, put them in vacuum bags, and so we don't actually post them out in the vacuum bags. It's just easier for us to store. So this one is a job lock, so we've got a sticker on it. 52 items, underwear, lingerie, knickers, bras. Now, was that this morning? One sold overnight. No, 52. And we found that people, the same people are buying more than one, which is really, really good. Uh, this one, so these are all zero cost as well because I actually work out the cost price of the items that I list and anything I don't list has a zero cost price because I've um, counted it all in the stuff I've listed. So zero cost price, it's underwear, lingerie, knickers, bras, yeah. And this one sold for 20 pound plus post. And I've got another one here. I've got 60 items hats. Is that at the bottom of the list? I bet this is the one that's at the top of the list. Yeah. Yeah, job lot, 60 items, hats, gloves, swimwear, underwear, accessories, men and women's. And this is a zero cost price again, and it's sold for $18.99 plus post. Right, just need to pick some more stuff up from over here. Whole fire.
one didn't make it into a suction bag. This one is... <sighs> 47 items in this one. Job lot, 47 underwear items, mainly women, all brand new, without tags. And again, zero cost price, sold for $18.99 plus post. Great, my dog's barking. One of them. This next one. Women's and men's. This next one's smaller. It's a job lot of women's and men's underwear. Boohoo, pretty little thing, bras, boxes, knickers. And this sold for $24.99. Another one. What's the sticker on this one? I've got to find it. 55 items. Job lot of 55 items. Socks, bras, underwear, belts, boxes, shorts. All brand new. Uh, sold for $16.99. I think I've pinned myself in. Another one that didn't make it into a suction bag is this one. In here there are 73 pairs of socks, men's, women's, all unworn, including Puma, Paddy Power. Um, and I mentioned in the description that they're, although they're all unworn, they don't have any tags or packaging, they're all paired up. Um, so they're all brand new, just literally paired up like this. I was very, um, precise in, in the listing and therefore I sold it for less money because I thought well I was surprised it sold so quickly actually I only listed it last week it sold for $14.24 plus pounds. if they didn't sell we were just going to take into a shelter or something random here everything's going to fall over and this one is not a bundle as you can see it's a pair of crocs I only listed these last week uh, I'm not a croc fan myself um, but I know lots of people are. They're unisex adults, brand new, with tags. They cost a pound and we sold them for $29.99. They came in a shoe bundle from the auction. A vintage item here, which was in our vintage unboxing video. If you've um, not seen that, take a look. Uh, it's our most popular video actually on YouTube. This one was... I wasn't sure if they were table mats or like what people have on sort of the arms of their sofas or like my grandparents did or on like the head bit of the sofa and um, so I put linen table mats sofa arm covers times four they're vintage and they've got like a little field mouse and poppies on them they cost £1.61 as part of a big vintage bundle and they sold for £14.99 um, one more Job lot. Hey, great! The stickers come off. That one must be. Um, I don't know if that's that one or not. Belts. Ah, this is could be job lot. Fifty-five items: socks, bras, underwear, belts, boxer shorts, all brand new. I think that is. I think that's sixteen ninety-nine last post. That one. Um, it's not that one, it's not that one. Oh no, it's 54 items. Socks, belts, all brand new, I'm one with tags, 37.99 plus post. So we had some great bundle sales. I think we've only got five or six left. I know we've only got three really big bags left. So I'm really, really pleased. Uh, bearing in mind they were all in just sacks, packed up, like stacked up in the corner of our spare room just sort of looking at me and sort of just scaring me every time I saw them. But I'm glad I got them done. And the last two items are mystery boxes. So a load of beauty items, sort of healthcare, um, skincare, nails, all that sort of stuff that I got, which I wouldn't buy again because I didn't enjoy dealing with it. I decided to put into random boxes or mystery boxes you can't call them mystery boxes in your title. So articled bulk wholesale, 
and then I just put random selection of mixed makeup pampering items that sort of thing so we've got a 20 item one that sold for $14.99 and these are um we've sold so many of these now we've hardly got any items left so the 20 items that this person is receiving are some fashion eyelashes a nail file sadly a nick comb i was putting it off but someone had to have it some hair bands some cotton swabs a micro um like microderm abrasion sort of um thing that you scrape sort of hair off your face with makeup brush <clears throat> a sort of donut hair donut thing another makeup brush some gold eyeshadow a comb thing that's got purple dye on it so you like comb it through your hair and it puts sort of non-permanent dye on it uh, eight second salon hair mask some nail polish remover some hyaluronic acid serum 100% natural bath and body wash uh, bath noodles a little lip gloss baby skin baby lotion gel patches uh, under eye gel patches hair clips some nail art sort of transfers and some aloe vera sort of gel i don't know if you put it on spots or what um yeah so there's actually 21 items in there i'd give everyone one more than they actually buy um because some like just a sachet of something because they're sort of light and small and it just um just going that extra mile isn't it and then someone else i think it's a one of our watchers actually so if it was you and you don't want to see what you're getting don't watch any more of this video um they bought the six item one which is six items it's the cheapest one four pound 49 plus post so they're getting like a hair scrunchie um like a cleansing cloth a nail file hair clips a lip balm funky sort of makeup brush or nail brush and i've just popped in a sample of Shador by dior so that is everything and i managed to do it without the video cutting out so i'll just mention that you can't see it it's off camera um but there are around 99 things just off camera on the table of items that we sourced from charity shops yesterday simon went to four in the morning yeah he went to four in the morning because he had a hair appointment thank god um so he went to get his hair cut have a beer and he went to four charity shops and then when he came home we both went out together and went to five charity shops and picked up loads of stuff um, really really enjoyed it and um, got a whole range of items um, games toys books media vintage health and beauty shoes and um, craft stuff uh, one item of clothing um, yeah really 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 enjoyed it it was just so nice for the first time since end of November that I've been to a charity shop because uh, we were on lockdown like immediately we were one of the higher risk areas so we haven't been out for so long um so yeah we're going to do another video hopefully later of um like a haul video to show you what we got and um yeah Simon will be back from the auction soon so we can do the post and um yeah then we can start listing again Woo so thank you uh, very much for watching uh, please like subscribe um, hit the notification button do what you've got to do uh, you can find us on instagram as well at fns resellers so come and follow us over there and say hi and stay tuned for our next video um, have a great day i hope you've managed to get out to the charity shops or wherever you source from and been able to really source some great stuff and i will see you next time bye